assalamu alaikum students uh, this is uh, lecture number 37 and it's about tradition and the individual talent waalaikum salam it's about tradition and the individual talent and this is the essay uh, written by ts eliot so we have uh, two more classes and these are the final classes and uh, this essay is very important from examination point of view so in this uh, particular session you will have uh, its first section and section 1 and then uh, in this next session you will have the second session and if there are any students left who have not given their presentation so they can also give their presentation in the next session so let's start tradition and individual talent what is uh, this essay about so, so this uh, essay is an essay written by poet and literary critic t s eliot and i have already uh, mentioned uh, i have already talked about t s eliot who he was so he is definitely a big name in 20th century he is one of the writers who was equally or who is equally known for his uh, poetry and criticism both he is like uh, please mute your uh, mic apne mic ko mute kar dijiye aap log so he is uh, the one who is equally known for his uh, poetry and uh, criticism both and uh, he is best known for his uh, poem the west land and in criticism you will find his as a tradition and individual talent in, in which he is telling us about tradition and he is telling us wh why is it important for in, for an indiv individual uh, talent <clears throat> so this is an essay written by uh, written by t s eliot and this essay was first published in two parts in the egoist in 1919 and later on eliot's first book of criticism the sacred wood 1920 <laughs> it is also available in eliot's selected prose and selected <laughs> essay Eliot begins his essay by offering several corrections to what he say, sees as misreading of the notion of literary tradition. So there were uh, many, uh, you know, writers who were misreading uh, or misunderstood. They were not getting properly what tradition is. So he is telling us about the. He is first telling us what is what tradition is, and then he is telling us what is what the importance of tradition is. Eliot acted as a poet critic comparable to Sir Philip Sidney and Samuel, uh, Samuel Taylor uh, Coleridge. I have already told you this thing. I have already told you that Eliot was a poet critic comparable to Sir Philip Sidney and Samuel Taylor Coleridge. I have already told you this thing. 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 I have already told you this uh you can say uh, well known for their uh, uh, criticism and for their poetry tradition and individual talent is one of the most well known works that eliot produced in his literary capacity or in his ca critic capacity okay after this we have section number 1 as i told you that in this particular uh, session i will tell you about section number 1 and these handouts you have been given and i don't know whether you are you have read the handouts or not but you should read the handouts so unhi usi mein se aapko ye cheeze bata raha hu section 1 okay in this section he is talking about what he is presenting his conception of tradition and de the definition of the poet and poetry in relation to it first of all he is telling us about his conception of tradition means what tra tradition is and then he is telling his other definition of the poet and poetry in relation to tradition eliot says in english writing we seldom speak of tradition Though we seldom, though we occasionally apply its name in deploring its absence, so we apply we 
डिप्लोर इट्स एबसेंस बट वी वेरी सेल्डम टॉक अबाउट ट्रेडिशन ट्रेडिशन को हम बहुत कम अहमियत देते हैं लेकिन हम अक्सर जो है इसके ऊपर गम मना रहे होते हैं कि भाई ये हमारे पास ट्रेडिशन को हम फॉलो नहीं कर रहे या हम ट्रेडिशन को अहमियत नहीं दे रहे जब आप इसको अहमियत नहीं देंगे तो आप कैसे करेंगे एलियट सेज दैट क्रिटिसिज्म इज नॉट इन्फीरियर टू क्रिएटिव एक्टिविटी वट इज मोर इम्पोर्टेंट क्रिटिसिज्म और क्रिएटिव एक्टिविटी सो ही सेज दैट क्रिटिसिज्म इज नॉट इन्फीरियर टू क्रिएटिव एक्टिविटी क्रिटिसिज्म इज एज इनिवेटेबल एज ब्रीथिंग ही इज सेंग दैट क्रिटिसिज्म इज एज इम्पॉर्टेंट एज ब्रीथिंग जिस तरह सांस लेना इंसान के लिए जरूरी है इसीलिए इसी तरह से क्रिटिसिज्म भी जरूरी है then he says that each nation has its own critical turn of mind for eliot the term tradition is imbued with a special and complex character with a special and complex character wo kya kehta hai tradition ko a fusion of past and present and at the same time a sense of present temporality a fusion of past and present and at the same time a sense of present tem- present temporality A poet must include the whole of the literature of Europe from Homer, while simultaneously expressing his contemporary environment. So tradition means, of course, the work of the past writers. Eliot challenges challenges our common perception that a poet's greatness and individuality lies in his dis- departure from his predecessors. A poet's greatness and individuality. lies in his departure from his predecessors elliot's argue argues kya kya argument karta hai that the most individual parts of his work may be those in which the dead poets his ancestors assert their immortality most vigorously so he here is doing what he is giving tribute or is paying tribute to the past writers but he is not he is saying he is not saying that we should blindly follow them Eliot's claim that his this historical sense that is not only a resemblance to traditional works but an awareness and a dense understanding of their relation to his poetry. The so concept of tradition, जो Eliot ने present किया है, इसका तालुक जो definitely past से, लेकिन वो ये नहीं कहता that we should blindly follow the past. Whatever we have in the past, so it means that would be great. Now there should be definitely uh, you know check and balance. so eliot's concept of tradition is not one passive is not of one of passive imitations of the past passive means aapne baghair soch samjhe jo hai past ko imitate karna shuru kar diya ya unko aap copy kar rahe hain unko follow kar rahe hain so this is not what eliot says it is not the blind and timid following the ways of the previous generation so the kind of imitation should be firmly discouraged aur is tarah ki jo imitations hai when we follow blindly uh, our past writers so he discourages such kind of uh, thing and he says that this is not a true tra- tradition to usko tradition manta hi nahi hai eliot says that novelty has much wider significance novelty means newness novelty means something new so he says that novelty has much wider significance and if you remember i don't know whether you remember or not aristotle ne kya kaha tha what aristotle said what is uh, poet uh, tragedy it is an imitation of an action that is serious complete and of certain magnitude so he is also said that imita- tragedy is an imitation of an action but imitation doesn't mean and where plato uh, you know uh, objected if you remember his teacher plato he objected to uh, imitation he says that since poetry uh, tragedy is an imitation so it means that it is copy so here he is say aristotle says that it is copy but it's the cop second copy but it is something that produced through with the help of this copy one can produce original work we must need idea aur agar aapko yaad ho galiban kisi ek writer ne ye bhi kaha tha ki for poetry idea is everything i think it was matthew arnold jisne kaha tha for poetry idea is everything if we have no idea no poetry so idea is something that is present everywhere we can find or we can get idea from any source from any place and that is important so it doesn't mean that we are getting we are copying something copy to dekhna to hoga kis cheez ko lekin uske baad usme kuch add karke we can make something new and that is called novelty so he says that it is not something that is inherited one has to work hard to obtain it this novelty is something that for which one has a person has to work or a writer has to work hard
Eliot disagrees with the idea that what is good in poetry is what is new, though he does see something new happening in good poetry. Eliot says that tradition must not be seen as simply a falling back upon previous ideas. Means if we feel that we uh, we can get uh, you know become traditional or we can attain this tradition by going back to our previous works, so this is what Eliot discourages. Eliot Eliot says that traditional tradition involves the historical sense, and the historical sense is very important to anyone who wants to continue. बींग अ पॉइंट यानी कि जो भी एज अ पॉइंट कंटिन्यू करना चाहता है तो उसके लिए हिस्टोरिकल सेंस बहुत ज्यादा अहमियत रखता है सो ट्रेडिशन इज अ मैटर ऑफ मच वाइडर सिग्निफिकेंस इट कैन नॉट बी नेरेटेड एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गैर इट सो यू मस्ट ऑप्टेन इट बाय वर्क हार्ड बाय ग्रेट लेबर एंड ग्रेट hard work according to eliot it involves a perception not only of the pastness of the past but also of its presence yani ke sirf isme pastness past hi nahi hota lekin isme iska present bhi hota hai so tradition he talks about tradition in historical sense he says that if the form of tradition remains only in blind adherence of dead people or ancestors yani ki hum sirf aur sirf agar jo writers duniya se chale gaye unhi ko hum blindly follow karte rahe ye soche ki hum unki tradition par chal rahe so it will be lost or such tradition should be destroyed to ye kya hoga nuksan hoga aur aise tradition ko khatam hi kar dena chahiye so according to eliot in every traditions according to eliot in every uh, in every tradition also there is a bit of novelty in every tradition there is a bit novelty kuch na kuch isme naya lazmi hota hai he says tradition is a matter of much wider significance it cannot be inherited ye zara aap zehn mein rakhiyega isne kya kaha tradition tradition is a matter of wider significance it cannot be inherited and if you want it you must obtain it by great labor and it involves in the first place the historical sense historical sense lazmi isme hona chahiye yahan tak agar kisi ko koi problem hai to mujhse puch sakte hain we are talking about tradition and eliot is telling us about tradition what is tradition and how important it is for an individual talent this is what eliot is telling us about Yes, if anybody, anyone has anything to ask, so that is friend can ask me. Only six students are with me right now, so if anyone has any question. No, sir. Okay, after this. what eliot says this historical sense is inevitable for any poet means it is something that cannot be avoided ye jo historical sense hai it cannot be avoided and with this historical sense they should have perception about its presence as well as about its pastness of past to yahi historical sense hai jisse ek jo shayar hai wo perception leta hai ek concept develop karta hai of its presence as well as its past yani ke उस वो जो हिस्टोरिकल सेंस रहता है उसका प्रेजेंस भी और उसका उसका पास्ट भी है द हिस्टोरिकल सेंस फोर्स इज मेन टू राइट नॉट ओनली विद हिज ऑन जनरेशन बट विद द होल एज ऑफ द इंग्लिश लिटरेचर तो ये हिस्टोरिकल सेंस है जो के राइटर को फोर्स करता है कि वो लिखे विद हिज ऑन जनरेशन एंड विद द होल एज और कीपिंग इन माइंड द होल एज ऑफ द इंग्लिश लिटरेचर हिस्टोरिकल सेंस मेक्स अ पॉइंट historical sense makes a poet feel that the whole of the the literature from homer and the whole of the literature of his own generation has a simultaneous and existence jab wo isko study karega jab wo isko study karega 
तो उससे लगेगा कि बहुत सी चीजें इसमें साइमल्टेनियसली सेम है देर आर मेनी थिंग विच आर सेम देर आर डिफरेंसेज बट देर आर मेनी थिंग्स विच आर सेम इट हारमोनाइज टू डिफरेंट थिंग्स two different things timelessness and temporality or temporariness in poets work timelessness and temporality in poets work and this makes a poet traditional aur ye cheez jo hai poet ko kya banata hai traditional jaise when you <coughs> study shakespeare so shakespeare is still studied we still read shakespeare's plays we still read marlowe's plays marlowe died very young he died i think at the age of 30 और 29, उनतीस या तीस साल की उम्र में उसकी डेथ हुई लेकिन आज भी लोग उसको पढ़ रहे पढ़ रहे होते हैं क्यों वाई बिकॉज द वर्क ही प्रोड्यूस आउटस्टैंडिंग फिर इसमें हिस्टोरिकल सेंस भी आपको मिलेगा शेक्सपियर के काम में मिलेगा जॉन मिल्टन एंड मेनी अदर राइटर्स सो वी रीड देम वाई बिकॉज देयर वर्क हैज यू नो क्रॉस ऑल द बाउंड्रीज मीन्स यूल फाइंड देट देर विद देर वर्क टाइमलेसनेस यानी कि एक टाइमलेसनेस यानी किसी भी टाइम किसी भी एज के लिए वो है ऐसा नहीं है कि इसका ताल्लुक पिछले एज से या सत्तरवीं सदी से या अठारहवीं सदी से उस तरह की चीज़ें अभी नहीं होती है सो दे टॉक अबाउट थिंग्स विच हैव यू नो यूनिवर्सल अपील और विच हैव यू नो जनरल अपील सो दिस इज समथिंग दैट मेक्स अ पॉइंट ट्रेडिशनल सो इट इज अंस ऑफ टाइमलेसनेस एज वेल एज ऑफ द टेम्परिटी टुगेदर एंड दिस इज वट मेक्स अ राइटर ट्रेडिशनल और ये जो चीज़ें हैं जो राइटर को ट्रेडिशनल बनाती हैं एंड एट द सेम टाइम इफ मेक्स इट मेक्स आर राइटर कॉन्शियस ऑफ इज प्लेस इन टाइम इससे राइटर थोड़ा कॉन्शियस भी जाता है कि यार उसका अपना क्या प्लेस है उसका अपना क्या मुकाम है द पास इज नॉट टू बी सीन इन आइसोलेशन इट इज लिंक टू द प्रेजेंट एंड कंटिन्यूज इन थ्रू इट and this is again a very important thing to remember ke past ko isolation mein mat dekhe it should be linked to the present and it should continue in and through it eliot says that a writer must be acutely conscious of the different aspects of modern life but at the same time he should rise above and beyond the modern life and def- define himself in terms of tradition according to eliot a writer cannot be judged in isolation writer ko isolation mein aap judge nahi kar sakte yani ke sirf uske kaam ko rakh kar aap judge nahi kar sakte if a writer has to be judged so he does not have why because he does not have his complete meaning or significance alone once again a writer cannot be judged in isolation he does not have his complete meaning alone he cannot be valued alone usko aap alag se value bhi nahi de sakte yani agar aap sirf uska kaam check karenge ya uske kaam ko aap judge karenge to na to aap usko sahi mano mein according to eliot uski uski usko aap importance de sakte hain na hi usko aap judge kar sakte hain his significance can be understood only in his relation to the poets of the past jo past past ke jo poets hain so in relation to those poets we can see or we can understand him or his poetry so a comparison and contrast with the pa- a poets of the past is a principle or rule of aesthetic criticism and therefore he has to be compared and contrasted with the older or earlier writers and place among them so is the isliye jab un according to it when we want to judge any writer modern writers so we have to compare them with the past writers and also with the writers who are at present and then we'll be able to find what place he deserves or she deserves it is only through this kind of comparison and contrast that a writer's true value or worth can be judged eliot's concept of tradition is a dynamic one eliot ka jo concept hai wo ek dynamic concept hai tradition is evolving all the time har waqt evolve kar raha hota hai aur bahut interesting baat hai eliot ne kaha ki tradition has both the past and the present ye cheez jo hai samajhne wali hai tradition tradition has the both both the past and the present and there is a mutual interdependence between the past and the present yani ki hum log bahut se samajh rahe hote hain ki sirf he is talking about past to aisa nahi hai wo keh raha past and present they both are there in his tradition 
so he says that the past modifies the present and the present alters the past past jo hai present ko modify karta hai aur present jo change karta hai changes aata hai past mein the writer in the present looks for the guidance of the past present ke jo writer hai jo hal hal jo writer hai wo past ke jo writers unse kya karte hain guidance lete hain in literary tradition but when a new work of art is created created it in wait in inevitability modifies the tradition lekin jab koi nayi cheez samne aati hai to wo automatically kya karti hai modify kar jati hai past ke tradition ko so the new work causes a readjustment in values and relationships of the already existing works so according to eliot tradition is not something static but is for ever changing growing and evolving tradition koi aisi cheez nahi jo ki aap ek dafa ho gayi hogi he says it is something that is changing that keeps changing keeps growing and keeps evolving ye sab processes mein hote hain to isliye it is a it is not an static thing it is a dynamic thing then these are the lines from the text jisme kya kehta hai eliot says about poet no poet no artist of, of any art has his meaning alone zara ye suniyega bahut interesting cheez hai eliot eliot ne us but kahi hai ke no poet no artist of any art has his complete meaning alone yani ke koi agar akele mein samajhta hai ke wo apne kuch significance manwa lega no so he is meaningless he has no meaning at all a writer or any artist of any art has no uh, has no complete meaning alone his significance his appreciation is the the appreciation of his relation to the dead poets and artists to uski jo significance hai uski appreciation hai uska taluq us dead poets se hi hai ya artists se you can't value him alone you must set him for contrast and comparison to aapne lazmi usko contrast se comparison dead jo writers hai unse karna hoga then you will be able to find out how good or how bad the writer or artist or poet is is this clear to isko isse mujhe bhi bahut kuch samajh mein aaya i also can understand many, many things from this that eliot what eliot is saying so there are many things which are very much true we are nothing we are incomplete if for example i start writing something so i must follow the tradition of the past writers and i must uh, see wh which uh, who uh, you know which writers followed what and then i should select some of the writers and i should follow their pattern then i'll be able to get the right thing agar hum khud se hi apne kisi uh, raste mein nikal pade to hamare paas na itna tajruba na itna matlab wasi uh, writing ki wo cheeze hain ya shayari ki hai jo bhi hum karna chahe nahi hai ab zahir hai misal ko jo novelist banna chahta hoga ya novel likhna chahta hoga to uske zehen mein charles dickens ka naam lazmi aayega theek hai is tarah se uske dil mein agar agar wo फैमिली वाले नॉवेल्स लिखना चाहेगा तो उसके जहन में लाजमी जैन ऑस्टन का नाम आएगा सिमिलरली इफ यू वांट टू राइट पोएट्री इंग्लिश आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट इंग्लिश सो अ पर्सन मस्ट रिमेंबर यू नो रोमांटिक पोइट्स एंड देन वी मस्ट रिमेंबर रेनेसा पोइट्स स्पेशली द नेम ऑफ वर्ड्स वर्थ कम्स टू आर माइंड एंड द नेम ऑफ सम अदर यू नो इफ यू टॉक अबाउट शॉर्ट पोइम्स ऑफ द नेम ऑफ जॉन कीट्स कम्स टू आर माइंड तो क्या है कि वी मे फॉलो द पैटर्न ऑफ दिस writers and then we can create something on our own aisa nahi ke we will just do uh, you know ourselves something new we must need some pattern we must need some <clears throat> uh, you know guidance or guidelines only then we can do something uh, you know creative kisi ko kuch kehna hai is sawale se no question okay about work of art what eliot says so about art eliot makes an important remark he makes an important remark and what he says he says that a work of art never improves through its material changes if you change the material so you don't think that it will improve kya kehta hai the material of art keeps changing jo material uska woh change hota rehta hai a poet must be quite aware of the the obvious fact that art never improves but that the material of art is never quite the same ye cheez jo hai kisi bhi artist ko ya kisi bhi writer ko zehen mein rakhna chahiye ki according to ts eliot that through material changes art does not improve then he talks he talks about poets relationship with the past as i told you that we should not forget 
you know, uh, the past writers, we must remember some of the giants, some of the great writers, and we must quote them. We must remember lines from their, uh, you know, uh, poetry from their work. And when we pre uh, present something uh, on our, uh, our own, then we must quote them. These things show that these things show our knowledge, and these things show our grip upon knowledge. A poet's relationship with the past involves a self render surrender to something which is of great value than himself. A poet has to surrender himself to literary tradition. A poet has to surrender himself to literary tradition. He has to be objective. Objective means uh, things related to reason. His mind is like a catalyst. And he has to depersonalize his emotions. This is a very important thing. He has to depersonalize his emotions. He has to become, he has to get out of prejudice. So depersonalize his emotions. Uh, this, is, this is something that is very important for any writer. Or Hamare, unfortunately, as a personality factor lazmi beach majata, just come getting shaksiat prastika both a problem. Amaria, Kyap, or Koi Koi Kam, the Gagia, Yak, Chize, Yak, a novel, he, a yak, a se, he, a Kuchbi, Apudi, Apse Kajata, Apse Murat Kisi, uh, Johe, LLM, say Kajata, Kathrasko, Deke, but I don't believe Pujaka Kisnelika, why? Why are, why are you asking this question? Don't ask this question. Judge that piece of work, whether it is good or not, from the perspective or from the point of view, which has been mentioned, from grammar point of view, from storytelling point of view, from you know theme point of view. What do you think about that? personality factor Elliot says he has to depersonalize his emotions. So he has to depersonalize his emotions. So this is what we have in the first uh, section. So uh, yes, please. So what does this mean? His mind is like a catalyst. Here actually, a uh, science ka student ko ne aap me se? Sir, Who is the student of science? Sir. You? Yes. What is catalyst by the way? Sir, I don't remember. You don't remember, you must have studied 10 years or 12 years. Sir, catalyst is those uh, compounds who speed up the reaction. Yes. Okay. Chemical reaction. Chemical reaction, right. Or else Actually, catalyst is a substance that makes a chemical reaction happen faster without being changed itself. Like chlorine acts as a catalyst. Right, and it is something that you must have heard in chemistry. Similarly, if a person or thing that causes a change, that person or thing is also called catalyst. Unique, कोई अगर change लेके आता है, कोई शख्स या कोई चीज change लाती है, तो उसको भी catalyst कहा जाता है. So catalyst here, a substance that makes a chemical reaction happen faster without being changed itself. So here he says that a poet's mind is like a catalyst. He brings changes without what means things happen very quickly and fast and he does not, uh, you know, affect the main thing means when things change. So it brings something new. It does not, you know, uh, damage or ruin the, the process is not ruined or destroyed, but you know, with the help of a poet's mind, uh, something new we can, uh, can be obtained. And this is what he says that po uh, a poet can do. And this is the power of a poet. So that is why he says he has compared a poet with a catalyst. So uh, his mind is like a catalyst, means he can change, he can bring changes. But he has to depersonalize him, his emotions. Apne emotions ko depersonalize karne honge. If he doesn't depersonalize his emotions, then things will not have happen. The capacity of absorbing knowledge differs from one person to an, an, another person. Ab kiske andar kitni knowledge wo ko usne absorb kiya, wo def, definitely differs from person to person. 
सम आर एबल टू एब्जॉर्व इट विदाउट मच डिफिकल्टी कुछ लोग बहुत जल्दी नॉलेज रिटेन कर लेते हैं एंड अदर्स टू वर्क हार्ड फॉर इट तो शेक्सपियर वॉज एबल टू गेट मॉर्न नॉलेज ऑफ हिस्ट्री फ्राम प्लटार्क देन मेन्यू कैन फ्राम द ब्रिटिश म्यूजियम सो ही सेज दैट आप पोइट मस्ट डेवलप अ कॉन्शियसनेस ऑफ द पास्ट ही मस्ट डेवलप अ कॉन्शियसनेस ऑफ द पास एंड शुड कंटिन्यू टू डेवलप दिस कॉन्शियसनेस थ्रू आउट हिज करियर पहले तो उसको लाजमी कॉन्शियसनेस को के पास के हवाले से बहुत कॉन्शियसनेस का मुजाह करे और उसके बाद इस चीज को कंटिन्यू करे थ्रू आउट हिज करियर A poet's relationship with the past involves the self-surrender to something which is of great value than himself. But this something is definitely, according to T. S. Eliot, is something very interesting and great. As I told you, I have just said that if you want to be, become a writer, if you want to become a great writer, you must follow certain, you must follow any tradition. If you don't follow any tradition, so it means you may, you know, you may be may face great problems. so you must follow certain traditions misal ke aap sports mein dekh le ke kis koi agar bowler naya emerging bowler aaya theek hai to usse lazmi ye puchha jata hai who is your favorite bowler koi kabhi nahi bolega my favorite wo kabhi isse ye koi nahi puchega who is your favorite tv actor 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 or actress so this question will be asked from that bowler who is your favorite bowler to wo batayega my favorite bowler is dissent that उससे अंदाजा हो जाएगा आपको कि ये किस तरह की चीज और किस तरह की बॉलिंग कर रहा है अब ऐसा नहीं है कि एक बंदा फास्ट बॉलिंग करवा रहा हो बोले और उससे पूछा जाएगा तो वो बता देगा कोई स्पिनर बॉलर वो फास्ट ठीक है बताएगा इस तरह कोई बैट्समैन है तो वो अपनी मर्जी का बैट्समैन जाएगा हो सकता है वो हमारे दुश्मन मुल्क का हो कहीं ऐसे मुल्क इस किसी ऐसे मुल्क का हो जिससे हमारे बहुत ज्यादा मतलब ये कि चल मामला चल रहे उसका भी बता सकते हैं वो बिकॉज ही इज नॉट ही इज ऑब्जर्विंग और ही इज व्यूइंग इट फ्राम डेफिनेटली स्पोर्ट्स पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू सो ही मे से things according to that point of view so this is what tradition is any question now how many students are remaining how many are iska jo second part hai uske baad wale session mein hoga lekin us session ko khatam karke main cha raha hu ke जिन दो 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 तीन स्टूडेंट्स रह गए आई थिंक आई आई वुड लाइक देम टू गिव देयर प्रेजेंटेशन क्योंकि आज के बाद डेफिनेटली आई विल नॉट ये भी मैंने जो सेशन लिया है कि एक्स्ट्रा सेशन ले लिए मैंने आप लोगों के ठीक है तो अगर किसी को प्रेजेंटेशन देनी तो दे दें वरना उनके पंद्रह नंबर तो लाजमी दे विल लूज देयर फिफ्टीन मार्क्स आई थिंक फ्यू स्टूडेंट्स आर रिमेनिंग फोर फाइव आर रिमेनिंग या सिक्स आर रिमेनिंग लाइक दिस Yes. <clears throat> Any question? Sir, ये topic भी include है ना final exams के अंदर? Definitely. एक क्वेश्चन इसी टॉपिक में से आएगा ओके सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू मीट आफ्टर फाइव मिनट्स ओके विद द नेक्स्ट सेशन इफ यू डोंट हैव एनी क्वेश्चन एंड इन दैट सेशन आई विल टेक योर प्रेजेंटेशन एज वेल इफ एनी वन इज हैज टू गिव प्रेजेंटेशन सो ही और शी कैन गिव द प्रेजेंटेशन द नेक्स्ट सेशन उसके बाद मैं नहीं लूंगा इसीलिए आप प्लीज जो अगले सेशन में uh, के एंड में जब uh, ये खत्म हो जाएगा देन आई विल आस्क यू टू गिव प्रेजेंटेशन सो यू कैन गिव योर प्रेजेंटेशन सी यू आफ्टर फाइव मिनट्स